All right, questions for KD. David, start us off. Hey, KD. Um, first, will you just kind of evaluate what kind of spring you think you're having? And then secondly, you guys have added a couple of JUCO guys to the mix up front. How are they fitting in and how are they pushing some of you veterans? Um, overall, I feel like the whole D-line is improving. I'm proud of us. Um, we just got to continue to be consistent and bring more energy. Isaiah and Jamon, they're good players. Isaiah is pretty strong. Jamon has pretty strong hands. And we're just bringing them all together and just being a brotherhood. Thank you. Eric, go ahead. Hey, KD, last year you guys really did not seem to be able to get much much push into the backfield. What, what do you think prevented you all from being a little more consistent in that area? Uh, I would just feel like technique. Um, now we're just more focused on technique and just getting better every single day and bringing energy and passion. What's been the benefit of just uh, being in the system for a second year and, and just having spring ball this time around? Um, the plays, you know the plays. When you know the plays, you have confidence and you're able to improve and just be disruptive. Thanks. Back to David. Hey, Katie, talk a little bit about what Randall Joyner has brought to y'all's position room uh, in terms of uh, coaching, and, and he's kind of known for bringing a lot of energy. What have been your impressions of him? Um, as I go back to um, energy and passion, I get that from him. D-line, we are called Juice Boys, and uh, every day we ought to bring energy and Indy, which convert over to team run, inside drill, and practice. And that's how you just get better and compete every single day. Were, were there some kind of uh, morale issues last year with the defensive line in terms of uh, lack of success and inability to stop the run and apply pressure to quarterbacks? And has Randall's presence in the room now kind of remedied that if that were the case? Um, I feel like he's helping our culture. Culture means a lot, especially towards the football team. And as a defensive line, you got to have culture. So with Coach Joyner here, he's really helping our culture. And now we're playing for each other. How about Marquise Watson? What, what does he bring to y'all's room? Man, I love Coach Watson. He's a great coach, great mentor. And um. Uh, Energy. He teaches the nose and the tackles a lot of good technique tips. Thank you. Any more questions for KD? All right, KD, thank you. Thanks, guys.